Hello and welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, we are going to discuss another important topic, which is to how to make good notes uh, or relevant notes for the UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination 2024, which is to be held in 22nd of June this year, right? So many of you, uh, many of the aspirants are confused whether to make notes or not for the examination or whether to read directly from the books itself. So let me clarify from the beginning that it is, an, it is not a choice to make notes. It is an absolute necessity to make notes for the examination, right? So that's why uh, to make you realize why notes are very important, I'll divide this whole lecture into three parts of why, what and how, right? So firstly, we will understand why is it very important to make notes before your examination. What are the study materials that you can uh, uh, refer to make relevant as well as coincise notes and how do we actually make notes, right? So why, what and how will be answered in this video. So it will be a step by step guide for and the one stop solution to make notes to how to, to know how to make notes for the upcoming combined geoscientist main, right? So let's get started. So the first thing, as I said, that we need to first understand why we should make notes right why note making is important so the first and foremost thing is you know that geology as a subject is vast and the syllabus is huge right we have a huge syllabus and if we go to the um, standard textbooks to study whatever that are mentioned in the syllabus itself you will see that a lot of information is there and most of the time those information has not uh, required the all, all of the information is not required at once right you need relevant content as per the demand of the examination and as per the demand of the syllabus and your need as well you need to understand what what is working for you what uh, type of uh, what is your style of writing how you remember things and how relevant content is can be extracted from those vast syllabus and vast information into clear concise and relevant content right so the first thing and the first and most important importance of note making is to weed out irrelevant information and make relevant content from first uh, information out there in the standard textbooks. Once you do that, then the second uh, most important thing that you can do from note making is active recalling, right? So let me tell you one thing very clearly that whatever you write, only those things you can be able to revise and whatever you revise will be replicated in the exam so take my word for this up jitna chahe padlo but whatever you write and revise only those things will be replicated in the exam and only those things can be recalled in the actual exam scenario as well so the first thing is we have to uh, extract relevant content from the vast resources then it is very helpful once you uh, extract those re uh, relevant content, it is very helpful to do active recalling and revise multiple times those information that you have written in form of notes before your examination. At the same time, as you know, writing practice is, an very important, uh, is a very important part of your examination. Mains, ans uh, mains answer writing is a very important uh, uh, phenomenon, right? And for that to happen, you have, and also there is a restriction of time for each question, for example, 5 markers ke liye aapko 5 minutes hi milega likhne ke liye. 10 markers ke liye mostly 8 to 10 minutes and 15 markers ke liye mostly 12 to 15 minutes time hi milta hai. If we exceed this time limit, you will be losing on uh, other questions, losing other questions as well as losing your chances to get selected because there are very few or limited seats this year. So, aapko ye ensure karna hai ki aap within time likh rahe ho and you will be and you are able to finish the entire paper within time and for that if you are making notes note making agar aap kar rahe ho it actually if, uh, prepares you in form of answer writing as well so writing practice bhi aapka ho jata hai if you do the note making right if you are regularly doing note making and hame standard structuring hamare dimag mein hamesha rehta hai then that eventually helps you in the uh, actual exam where you will be able to write all the exam with uh, all the questions within this stipulated time period right then uh, if you see uh, the for, from the past two three years or eventually uh, beyond that uh, you'll see that a lot of questions like not not a lot of so three to four questions eventually come as an unanticipated questions so 
whatever is mentioned in the syllabus it is explicit uh, it is uh, explicit in nature but there are certain things that are implicit right ki wahan se aap interpret karke bhi examiner questions pooch sakte hain so aise unanticipated questions agar aa gaye exam mein jo ki aane wale hain 3 to 4 questions will be there in each paper if those questions are there you will be able to answer those unanticipated questions by the notes that you have made इन द पास्ट राइट जो नोट्स आपने बनाया है उसी के इन्फॉर्मेशन को यूज करके यू कैन मेक आंसर इन द एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन हॉल बिकॉज टेक माई वर्ड फॉर इट दैट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू नो एवरी थिंग अंडर द रूल राइट हर चीज को आपको याद नहीं रह सकता सो देर आर सटन थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू फॉर्म एंड इम्प्रोवाइज सो यू हैव टू डू इम्प्रोवाइजेशन राइट सो इम्प्रोवाइजेशन हैज टू बी डन देन एंड देर सो फॉर दिस टू हैपन यू मस्ट हैव टू हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन टू इम्प्रोवाइज यू नीड इन्फॉर्मेशन and those information comes from the notes that you have made in the past so this is something that is very very important and that is why i am t- uh, telling you that note making is a very important exercise as a part of the mains examination right so once you have understand why let's uh, know, know about what are the dimensions of note making so i call it new, uh, note making triad triad means three related phenomena so the first phenomena is your syllabus of course the syllabus should be uh, you should be able to by heart the syllabus by now syllabus ke har ek part mein kya kya likha hai aapko sab kuch acche se yaad hona chahiye once you uh, uh, see the syllabus you go to the pyqs of at least 5 years question so if you uh, are able to do the uh, cgse 5 years question uh, within time you should also refer to upsc CSC optional questions. Of so, last two three years का भी आप देख लो तो काफी है. Because if you see every year one to two questions are repeated from UPSC CSC in the CGSE itself. जो CSE में पूछा था 2023 mains में 2024 mains में it is uh, relevant. Because the syllabus is more or less same and the syllabus is static in nature. Current affairs का कोई scope नहीं है. So if you see these kind of questions are asked um, uh, from uh, from the UPSC CSC itself questions are. रेप्लीकेटेड इन सी जी एस ई मेन्स सो अगर पाँच साल के ये कर रहे हो तो दो तीन साल का ये भी आपको देखना चाहिए दैट ऑप्शनल के क्वेश्चन यू पी एस सी सी एस ई ऑप्शनल के क्वेश्चन भी आपको पी वाई क्यूज का एनालाइज करना चाहिए वंस यू डू दिस टू थिंग्स कम्बाइंड दिस टू थिंग्स यू विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई डिफरेंट डायमेंशंस विच आर नॉट एक्सप्लिसिटली मैंशन इन दिस सिलेबस सिलेबस वट डज द सिलेबस डू सिलेबस इज ब्रॉड इन नेचर राइट अ ब्रॉड ओवरव्यू आपको सिलेबस देता है सिलेबस गिव्स यू अ ब्रॉड ओवरव्यू PYQs in the on the other hand gives you specific overview, specific or the concise overview. कि क्या actually dimensions आ सकते हैं, क्या actually examiner चाहता है, क्या पूछ सकता है examiner. Those can be interpreted from the PYQ, right? So syllabus, first look through the syllabus, go through the CGSE as well as this uh, optional uh, uh, PYQs, and combining these two uh, parameters, you will be able to. Uh, extract the third one, which is the most important parameter for your note making, is the different dimensions of each topic in the syllabus. Now, how to do it? Just a minute, Bola. The first step is to go through the syllabus. These are the steps, step by step guide. Step one, you have to go through the syllabus. By heart, the syllabus. Rat lo pura syllabus. Kaha pe kya likha hua hai? Sab chizay yad hona chahiye. Step two, PYQ analysis of UPSC CGSC plus UPSC. सी एस सी ऑप्शनल जियोलॉजी ऑप्शनल का जो क्वेश्चन है उसको भी आपको एनालाइज करना चाहिए एंड कंबाइन दिस टू थिंग्स टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द डायमेंशन एंड फाइनली यू मेक योर नोट्स नाउ हाउ टू मेक दिस नोट्स आई टेल यू इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बट नोट शुड भी इन द इंट्रो बॉडी एंड कंक्लूजन फॉर्मर राइट द एग्जैक्ट मैनर हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट इट इन द मेन्स इट्स राइट जैसे आप मेन्स में लिखोगे वैसे ही आप अपना नोट्स बनाओ तभी जाके वो रेप्लीकेट हो सकता है इन द एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन नहीं तो नहीं हो सकता राइट प्लेथोरा ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न इन दी ऑन योर नोट्स बिकॉज इट शुड बी क्लियर एंड कॉन्साइज नॉट एक्सेडिंग मोर देन टू पेजेस टू पेजेस के अंदर हर एक चीज को एक्सप्लेन करने की कोशिश करो बिकॉज इन द एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन यू विल बी एबल टू राइट ओनली टू टू थ्री पेजेस बिकॉज देर इज अ रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ स्पेस एंड टाइम स्पेस मीन्स देर इज ओनली टू पेजेस फॉर टेन मार्कर्स थ्री पेजेस फॉर फिफ्टीन मार्क एंड वन पेज फॉर फाइव मार्कर्स so this is something that you need to follow in your note making as well and if you see the toppers video of upsc csc uh, jo civil services examination ke jo toppers hai unke videos agar aap dekhoge ya fir un, un, unse sunoge they all of them say that 
in the structuring of your answer is very important that in in terms of intro body and conclusion the structuring should be there but most of the time in our uh, geoscientist examination nobody talks about that and everybody misses the uh, uh, the intro body and conclusion format or the structuring of the answer so remember that this is also relevant for cgse so you have to make your notes in that manner in a structured manner which should be which should include your intro body and conclusion right so uh, now that you have understand the what right what what you need to do what materials you need to uh, refer to uh, 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 make a relevant note for the examination let's understand how to go about right so why and what we have understood let's understand how to make the notes i have taken one example you can replicate it for the rest of your syllabus right so the section a the first section of your paper 1 as the syllabus of physical geology and remote sensing uh, the syllabus is broad in nature the earth's internal structure of earthquakes volcanoes aise cheeze likhe gaye hain jo jiske bare mein bas hame ek broad overview mil raha hai this is the broad overview earth's internal structure nothing is there kya puchhenge pata nahi earthquakes sirf earthquakes likha hua hai there is nothing that you can uh, interpret from this only right so you have to uh, refer to the pyqs so if you see i have taken the example of earthquakes अब सिर्फ और कोई लिखा हुआ है सिलेबस में बट इफ यू रेफर टू दू द प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन यू गेट टू नो वट डायमेंशन आर बींग आस्ट इन द क्वेश्चन राइट इन द एग्जामिनेशन वट आर द डायमेंशन दैट आर रिक्वायर टू बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन आवर नोट्स दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम दिस पी वाई क्यूज सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज ऑरिजिन ऑफ और कोई देन इट आस और कोई जोन राइट देन और कोई प्रोन जोन ऑफ इंडिया एंड टू मेजर और कोई मतलब एग्जाम्पल पूछ रहे हैं so origin earthquake zones and examples then this is the question of csc right the same kind of question dekho maine bola tha ki csc ke questions repeat hote hain civil services examination ke to those see this question causes of earthquake it is the same as this one origin of earthquake this is the 2022 wala question and this is asked in 2023 cgsc so 2022 csc 2023 cgs so you have to keep this in mind right causes of earthquake it is the same thing origin of earthquake and seismic belts confined to why seismic belts are confined to the plate boundary so this is actually asking you uh, the relation causes mein aapko relation batana hai ki plate boundary ke sath kyun associated hai and also you have to mention the earthquake zones right then magnitude and intensity that means it is asking you about the interpretation how earthquakes are interpreted so based on the magnitude and intensity the earthquakes are interpreted so that is something that you need to incorporate in your notes as well So magnitude and intensity, and note on damage, damages caused by an earthquake. That means it is asking you about the effects of earthquake, right? So we have extracted the dimensions from here. Now let's see with an example. Okay, our note kaise dikhna chahiye, right? So I have made this uh, chart for you to uh, get a clear idea how to go about it. So the first thing in the intro, what you can do is that you can write the definition of earthquake in your introduction. Because if you standardize your answer from now, it is very easy. कि अगर कुछ भी question आ जाए, you have a standardized format in your uh, notes which you can replicate in the exam, right? Standardization needs to be done before you go to the examination, and standardization should be done in form of note making in the notes itself. So this is something very very important while you make your notes. So first thing in your intro, you define what is an earthquake, right? Uh, you uh, give the definition of earthquake. then you come to the main body so in that body you can write about whatever the different dimensions we you we have uh, you know, interpreted from the previous year questions those dimensions can be incorporated here the first thing kya tha causes and origin so causes and origin you can uh, write about the volcanic causes tectonic causes mein aap yahan pe add kar sakte ho about what are the different tectonic causes and why earthquakes are concentrated along the plate boundaries this is the tectonic causes then anthropogenic causes me you can write about the reservoir induced seismicity and give example of for example koiner dam of maharashtra which uh, was the major cause of earthquake in the region that's why this uh, the project was shut right so reservoir induced seismicity is something that you can write in your causes and or uh, origin of earthquake me anthropogenic causes me bhi aap likh sakte ho then the second thing that we have understood from the uh, pyq is that interpretation of earthquake in terms of magnitude and intensity right then you write about the distribution distribution two type ka pucha gaya tha world and india because india gsi has made the seismic zonation of india so india's seismic zones need to be remembered and incorporated in the uh, notes because some question on in uh, 
this can be asked multiple times right and world cup uh, you you can give example of earthquake bells like uh, uh, the uh, circum pacific the alpine himalayan or mediterranean uh, alpine the alpine himalayan region and the mid atlantic region right mid atlantic region is also a salopocus earthquake region right so these three uh, examples you can give in terms of uh, indian scenario a uh, uh, world scenario sorry and uh, the indian scenario you can write about the seismic zonation of india which is given by gsi right and finally one more thing that you need to do here see effects was asked but mitigation was not asked in the question you have to predict that something can be asked based on the previous year question right so agar effects pucha hai to mitigation can also be asked pooch sakte hai na if effects uh, effect what are the effects of earthquake is asked then what are the measures you can take to reduce the effect of earthquake that can also be asked so something that you need to uh, predict so that if questions in the uh, in the next uh, something that you can predict which can be asked in the future as well so this is how you make your notes relevant as well as point size right so mitigation mein aap early warning system ke bare mein likh sakte ho right earthquake resistance structure what are the indian uh, indian provisions you can write about the sendai framework sendai framework is disaster resilience infrastructure which also incorporate earthquake resistant infrastructure right so this is something that you need to do to make your note holistic as well as very relevant agar koi bhi question aa jaye so you can make answers from this Uh, uh, type of uh, note as in the first place, right? Then, lastly, you conclude, right? So, conclusion. Me, what can you do? The the question asked you about recent examples, so you can give recent examples in the uh, in your conclusion, such as the Turkey and Japan earthquake, and you talk uh, say that these are the uh, major earthquakes that have happened in the recent past, and they have caused this kind of damages, and this kind of uh, actions were taken to mitigate the effects of this earthquake. So that that's how you. maintain the structure intro body and conclusion as well as uh, intro body and conclusion and at the same time you are able to uh, holistically cover this topic from each angle right har angle se aap topic ko cover kar rahe ho at the same time you are maintaining the structure and relevance and you are adding certain dynamic things which like the example like this and i framework in the, those kind of things in your answer which makes it relevant specific and very concise in manner and this is very easy to revise in the final stage as well so this is how you need to go about it and this is how you need to make your notes i hope this is clear to you all of you you understand why you need to make the notes because uh, that is a something very important before you go to your mains how what are the materials you need to uh, uh, refer to make relevant notes and how do we go about uh, uh, it to make relevant notes for our upcoming combined geoscientist examination and finally if you are looking for some sub, uh, test series where you can uh, actually practice all these things in the real time scenario you can uh, refer to our subjective test series which is uh, uh, developed by the geology concepts keeping the trends of examination in mind so everything is real, uh, whatever that whatever the questions we are uh, uh, we have made it is relevant for the uh cgsc uh, um, cgsc means because everything is uh, made keeping the trend of the examination in mind as well as the relevancy uh, in the mind right and at the same time you can also get, get evaluation that how to uh, uh, improvise and how to uh, make your uh, answers stand out and imp- uh, improve the uh, quality of your answer you can also get feedbacks right uh, from the trained teachers and also uh we have the value addition notes which you can use in your papers so this is something which is very relevant for your uh uh combined geoscientist examination i hope you are preparing well for it uh this note making strategy so this will also be so this will also provide you some insight to how to make notes which is relevant as well as coincide and at the same time you can predict what are the future trends that can be asked in the examination right so with that i'll see you in the next